Hi everybody, it's Tristan here from the EdTech Teacher and welcome to our second Microsoft PowerPoint quick tip. In our last video, I showed you um, the variety of templates and themes that are available inside Microsoft PowerPoint so that you can customize your presentation for the particular purpose of what you are trying to get across to students, are getting across to your parents or are getting across to um, uh, your colleagues. Today, I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can customize those themes if you'd like to change them a little bit more. So at the moment, I'm currently on my themes page in Microsoft PowerPoint. Before I have selected my, my theme, I can actually preview them to have a look and see what they look like to make sure I have selected the right theme. So for example, if I click over here on Atlas, it's going to show me a variety of color options for this particular theme, as well as showing me what the different slides will look like. So I might go, mm, this is not quite the layout that I would like. So I can click off this and go and have a look at another theme. So let's have a look at this one here by Quotable. Okay, I like the look at this theme. I'm gonna choose the purple color. Then I'm gonna click on create to use that theme. Now, even though I've selected this theme, that's not all I can do. I can actually customize this theme slightly more by going up the top here to my ribbon and clicking on design. In this particular section, I have some options. I can change the theme if I don't like this particular theme. I can go to one of the other pre-selected and pre-created themes that Microsoft have available. I can also change the color variance. So maybe the pink isn't working. Maybe I need to go to green because I have a student who has a particular problem with reading off a board. I can also click this little arrow here and I can actually change the colors to my specific purpose. So if you have a school color, if you have a particular set of colors that you use, or you use for a particular grade or topic, you can customize that as well. You can go down here and click on customize, co customize colors to choose your own set of colors if you would like to do that. Over here, you all, will also see that you can change the, the um, size of your slides. So this one here is currently on widescreen, all right? You can go to a standard size, which will make it slightly smaller. Here, you can decide on your scaling. Do you maximize the scaling of the slide or do you ensure that everything fits on the particular slide? You can also format your background. So would you like a solid fill, gradient fill? Would you like a picture or a texture fill, a pattern fill? Or would you like to hide background graphics? This is completely up to you as well. You can decide whether to apply it to all of your slides or just a particular slide. You'll also notice over here on the right hand side that Microsoft has this really cool feature called design ideas. It will give you some really cool ideas for your particular um, presentation based on what you have included. So if you pasted a picture into your presentation, it will show you some different ways to present that picture and that image. It also gives you some different um, themes and options here, which you could select to use for your presentation. So, Microsoft has really invested quite a significant amount of time into creating these really awesome templates that you can use and you can customize them so that they meet your particular need in the classroom, whether it's for presenting to students, whether it's for presenting to your colleagues, parents, or even for teaching the students how to create a really fantastic, visually appealing presentation. I hope you found something really useful in this tech tip. Stay tuned for more Microsoft PowerPoint quick tips that will be coming soon.